What's going on guys? Uh, for those of you that watch my channel, it's mostly about knives and stuff. Haven't done a video on knives in a while. Just want to do a quick video here. Uh, I'm also very into, you know, PCs, water cooling, gaming. Um, and what I've been up to lately is crimping my own wires, alright, and doing my own sleeving for my own modular power supplies. So real quick, just want to do a quick thing on crimp tools. Uh, and kind of exposing these crimpers right here for what they really are. These are the MDCTX, uh, the 10th anniversary edition. If you've watched the Singularity computer videos, you've seen these crimpers and how highly praised they are. They're like between 60 and 80 bucks, depending on when you get them, that they have such nice grips, and oh my god, they crimp so well. So I bought a pair. I bought mine from Mod 1. Now, I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to throw Mod 1 under the bus. And I don't know if this is Mod 1 or if this is just the truth. But, so, this is a pair. That's my name, Max, on there. This is a pair of SN28Bs. All right, you can get these on Amazon. These happen to be Iwis brand. Uh, sorry, I'm holding the camera in my hand. These happen to be Iwis brand. You can get these for under 25 bucks, all right? SN28Bs. Lots of companies make SN28Bs. Well, according to Singularity, these are better than SN28Bs. Um, but real quick, the first thing I noticed when I pulled these out of the box is, my God, they smell exactly like these do. Let's take a close look, folks. Take a close look at these. There all right, that's the jaw material. You can see it's that like cheap brushed metal. There's the jaw material on the iwis. Notice the similarity? All right. Look at the screws. I mean, the screws are the same. Now, granted, they've switched this out with an Allen head screw, and that's the classic screw, but look at the grips. The grips are just a different color. I mean, they're the exact same crimper. There's no difference. All right, see how there's that oval shape on the handle? Well, these have the same thing, but they've slapped a sticker on it. All right, now let's look inside the teeth. There is one difference. Okay, if you look in there, those teeth, uh, the second two larger ones, not the front one, the front one is stock. The second two larger teeth have been kind of machined out. Okay, if you look at these, as you can see, they have not been, all right? Literally, these are the exact same pair of crimpers. The only difference is they've milled out these teeth a little bit with a drill or something, and the reason they've done that are for Molex brand pins. These are the same crimpers, guys. It's bullshit. These are not made in Germany. These are made in China. These are made in China, and they tell you they're made in China. Let's listen to the sound. All right. So, Iwis. Uh, CTX. All right, now I'm going to hold them away from the camera and try to guess which one I'm, I'm using. All right, which one was that? Which one was that? Can you tell the difference? All right, Iwis, CTX. They're the same crimpers. They're the same damn crimpers. Bullshit. Bullshit. That pisses me off. That was expensive. Alright. Now, what I would recommend if you're getting into this for ATX and Molex pins, just go get yourself a pair of these on eBay. Um, if you can find them. They're old. Made in Sweden. These crimpers are phenomenal quality and they're actual Molex brand. Um, but, here's my suspicion on why these teeth are milled out. All right. So the reason the teeth are milled out, I'm thinking, or I suspect, on the CTX crimpers, which are those ones, is because here's two different pins. Okay, get this pin to. So on top you have a Molex brand pin, which, as you can tell, the wings are very high. And down here, wow, can't get that pin to stay. And down here you have another branded pin where the wings are not as high. These are both work the same way, just the Molex brand has higher wings. And because of those higher back wings, I imagine that's why these have been milled out to accept those. These work the same exact way. 
All right, if you really want the correct crimpers for those, excuse me, you want these. This is a different brand of Molex crimp, but do you see how high the insulation side is on those? Okay, these crimps will work perfectly for Molex pins because the insulation side is so much higher than the copper side. It's meant to uh, accommodate for those wings. So anyway guys, yeah, the CTX crimpers, they're bullshit. Absolute garbage. It's a waste of money. Don't get them. Unless I've been duped and these are not real CTX crimpers. Alright, uh, these are a great model. Not the same as those ones I just showed you. These do Molex and ATX pins phenomenal. There's the model number. There's what they do. So anyway, quick video, crimping. Uh, maybe I'll do some more on this. Have a good one.